Now I'm going to be working on a uh, thermal take uh, this showcase which is the 350p from thermal take. Uh, this is a very unique and very good looking case. Okay. okay. It has a very thick acrylic and then this serves as a water channel and a reservoir and uh, here also a, the uh, thermal take tough power 850 watts ARGB power supply this is an awesome looking power supply okay and then uh, 64 gigs of uh, DDR4 RAMs from uh, third multi so this is the uh, tough ram xg rgb so a very good looking ram design okay from thermal take big thanks to thermal take for sending their products for me to do a custom water cooling build on this uh, it's been a long time since this uh, uh, launch I've been wanting to do a build on this case because I really like working on an open case like this one so this is a full a RGB uh, panel so with the lights on the top and on the bottom okay so yeah let's get started So now 
you have another uh, tips and uh, tricks to help you out on your hard line tubing uh, projects so this is a different scenario uh, this is an open case so it's not easy to level your uh, square because there's nowhere to put it so what you do is like for instance here i've already done the three of the four tubes okay it's either uh, you use a reference like for instance this one you see the lines on the back of the case so you could check if it's a line like you do like this you know and then you'll see that uh, this tube is aligned squared or you can check out this line this one so you could see if this tube is not aligned or squared okay uh, and also you could use something like this you could like for instance there's two tubes here that holds the glass you could put it like that a uh, a bar okay and then wait it's difficult for me to hold the camera and then you could do this like put the square on the level bar so you could check if it's squared or not okay on the top side on the top uh, leveling this side of the tube see okay don't know if I'm holding it right so okay so when you want to check the other side just do the same using the bar the steel bar that holds the glass and just uh, do like this yeah because in, in some closed case you could put the square on the edge of the case so you would not have any issues on that but if ever you were to build on an open case it's gonna be hard so you have to do this you know this are some tricks to we're doing a uh, open case okay this would help you out to level or align your tubes uh, and then uh, for example this third tube is not yet uh, aligned I needed I need to cut at least two millimeters on the lower part of this tube so the way to cut it you have to do it by increments uh, what I mean is uh, little by little okay until you get it perfect like uh, for example uh, what I do is like for example here's an old uh, tubing so you use a rimmer okay to have this shape okay on the edge now you will file that only until we're uh, on the edge okay and then just uh, use a reamer again so uh, this this uh, cut is around roughly two millimeters okay same as what I need to cut here in this tube so that this would be le much lower because it's not it's like this a little bit so I don't know if the camera gets it so uh, but that's the idea okay so when you cut your tubing do it little by little you know it's fine if you remove and uh, put it back again and remove it again it's fine uh, it's better to do it by increments uh, so that you would not because if you do it uh, you cut the tube bigger than what you supposed to cut you know you're gonna do another, you're gonna rebend another set of tubes okay and then <clears throat> uh, like here 
you see my fourth tube I already bent this two bends is uh, very much common on a, on a custom water cooling bead this is much much easier than a triple bend okay so if you're not uh, uh, you are having hard time bending and measuring maybe you just have to start or a single or a double bend tube okay uh, what I do is I use every time uh, the tube um, do a bend so when you put in a, an old tube okay you have to also level this one before marking it uh, don't forget to uh, level it first okay so like this you would see that it's almost uh, level okay so I'll just put it like that okay so now uh, you use some I don't know some boxes left over boxes there and then uh, when it's uh, squared then that's the only time to mark okay and then you mark again on the inner part wait I'll remove this first because it's already leveled you mark on the inner part of the tube not the outside because some people uh, do it in the middle no that's not gonna align when you bend it you always mark on the left side or in the inner part not the outer part okay and then you bend uh, and that's it that's gonna go perfectly on where you want it to go so yeah hope uh, that helps you again so maybe next time i'll do a, a a video again of other tricks or tips that could help you guys in your projects so these are just small things or simple things to do that would um rapidly uh, improve how you do your builds so i hope uh, this helps panels that was removed prepped and uh, been painted white so yeah. I had a very difficult time painting these panels uh, including the acrylic panels the radiators because most of the time it rains so this is quite dry to the touch but it, this is not yet 100% dry if the sun comes out maybe tomorrow I'll put it out again in the sun so there are some more panels to be painted but uh, I have not yet started uh, doing those uh, the parts uh, the panels of the case I painted it glossy white um, and but the all the acrylics uh, and the radiators is a fluorescent uh, uh, matte white so yeah hope this dries as uh, soon as possible so I could uh, continue with the build so here's the build now I've already installed all the painted panels and uh, also I made a uh, fabricated uh, panel that is attached to the lower part of the case so that I could install a second radiator um, and then uh, I also painted the back side of the GPU block so that the PCB 
of the GPU would not be seen and adds uh, white uh, to the belt and then um, of course I needed to finish all the cables because this I uh, uh, before I finish first the uh, the loop layout and then I go to the cable management but on this particular case I need to uh, finish the cable management before installing fixing the final tube uh, layout on the build and um, also I uh, I made another acrylic with a thick aluminum on the back and will be installed on the top part and clamp with the glass and the locks okay so this is where the LED strips will go and also this one will go here on the sides and this one will go here okay and lastly this one is for the gpu okay that's what the reason why i do this in all my builds because uh, it's simply just to block the sides of the led strips like for example here the gpu block has a dead strip here so i want to block uh, the light coming out from the sides of it okay so that the light will just be focused on the block and not in your eyes uh, same as what I do in the LED strips I always put uh, uh, aluminum uh, panels so that all the lighting is focused on the tubing inside the belt I don't want me looking at the PC and uh, the sides of the LED strips are, you know, reflecting back to my eyes. So, and then here is the front part. I'm still gonna install some of the fans because I put uh, the controller on the back side, both of them, so that when I have an issue, that's gonna be easily. Uh, fixed okay and all these cables will go there so yeah maybe tomorrow I'll uh, I'll put in the tubing and then some of the cables and then fill it fit it fill it up uh, with the thermal take uh, uh, P1000 uh, blue cooling